5 Most Popular Tourist Destinations in Indonesia But before we start, please support us by pressing like and subscribe buttons, also turn on the bell notification to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Here we present to you, about, 5 most popular tourist destinations in Indonesia, we hope this information is useful for all of you. The Charm and Beauty of Raja Ampat, The Sparkle of Heaven in Indonesia Where Raja Ampat is and what beauties can I discover? Raja Ampat is a group of islands which name comes from a local myth known as, the Four Kings. The four magnificent islands are considered to be one of the world's last wildly diverse locations. Raja Ampat consists of a number of tropical island treasures, and amongst the seas renowned as home to the richest marine biodiversity in the world. Located within, the Coral Triangle, Raja Ampat is a sanctuary for a number of coral and fish species that are rapidly disappearing. The island compromises over 1,500 minor islands that surround four major islands that are Misul, Sawadi, Waigio, and Batanta. Raja Ampat provides the best underwater experience, and the reason for the great variation of underwater species are many. However, the most important reason being the natural currents that flow through Raja Ampat is connected with other countries that are a part of the Coral Triangle. These countries include East Timor, Salomone Islands, the Philippines, Malaysia, New Guinea and Indonesia. Incredible flora and fauna, a relaxed setting, and exotic traditions to experience. Other than the underwater realm of Raja Ampat being full of life, the island is completely covered with lush vegetation and immaculate beaches. The sight of blocking skyscrapers and towering buildings are replaced by the refreshing panoramic scenery of Mother Nature. For underwater enthusiasts, Raja Ampat offers a first-class diving and snorkeling experience. Covering 9.8 million acres of land and sea combined, it really is an endless adventure of discovering the island's underwater realm. Take on a new meaning of marine life as tiny pygmy seahorses circle around your fingers, manta rays glide right next to you, schools of colorful species of fish pass by, and if you're lucky, meet the rare sea turtle and dolphins. 5 Reasons to Visit the Magnificent Komodo National Park Located between the islands of Sumbawa and Flores in the East Nusatangara province, sits the vast and impressive Komodo National Park. The Komodo National Park encompasses a total of 29 volcanic islands, including the three major islands Rinka, Paydar, and Komodo, and is home to approximately 2,500 Komodo dragons and other terrestrial fauna such as various species of reptiles, birds, and mammals. The park's terrain is uniquely diverse, consisting of a mountainous hillside, tropical rainforests, grass woodland savanna, and pristine white sandy beaches that harbor rich marine biodiversity. The marine environment in the Komodo National Park is one of the world's richest in flora and fauna and is still relatively undiscovered. The 2,000 square kilometers park, which includes protected land and water, is recognized as a global conservation priority area and has an array of natural attractions. For the first time travelers to this wonderful piece of Indonesia, here are 10 tips to help you explore this great national park. The Komodo Dragons Approximately reaching 3 meters in length and weighing over 70 kilograms, the Komodo dragon, or otherwise known as Varanus komodoensis, is the world's largest lizard and reptile. The dragons are identified by their massive size, flat heads, bowed legs, long thick tails, and fork-shaped tongues. Komodos can run and swim up to 20 kilometers per hour and have an excellent vision where it can see objects from 300 m away. A fierce predator, these reptiles are carnivores and can eat 80% of their weight in one feeding. The Komodo can consume very large prey such as water buffalo, deer, carrion, pigs and even humans. What you might haven't known about Borobudur Temple in Indonesia Located on the island of Java, the magnificent Borobudur Temple is the world's biggest Buddhist monument you must visit at least once in your lifetime. 
The area is surrounded by beautiful scenery of central Java's nature that you can only find there. The temple sits majestically on a hilltop overlooking lush green fields and distant hills. Built between AD 780 and 840 during the reign of Sailendra dynasty, the temple's design in Gupta architecture reflects India's influence on the region. However, there are enough indigenous scenes and elements incorporated to make Borobudur uniquely Indonesian. It covers a total surface area of around 2,500 square meters of Kedu Valley, the southern part of central Java. The monument is a marvel of design, decorated with 2,672 relief panels and originally 504 Buddha statues, surrounded by green area. The architecture and stonework of this temple have no equal. It was built without using any cement or mortar. The structure is like a set of massive interlocking Lego blocks held together without any glue. It is no wonder that Borobudur is listed by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. The temple has remained strong even through 10 centuries of neglect. It was rediscovered in 1814 under the order of Sir Thomas Stanford Raffles. In the 1970s, the Indonesian government and UNESCO worked together to restore Borobudur to its former majesty. The restoration took eight years to complete, making Borobudur one of Indonesia's most valuable treasures. That is the reason why you will find a number of restrictions to touch or sit on the Borobudur site when you visit it. The Beauty of Kelamuta Lake, a hidden paradise in Labuan Bajo The beauty of my Indonesia is that Indonesia is one of the countries that has many amazing wonders of the world. There are many tourist destinations that can be visited in Indonesia, ranging from natural tourism, historical tourism, religious tourism, culinary tours and many more. It is not surprising if not only local tourists are interested in tourism in Indonesia, even foreign tourists are also interested in visiting Indonesia because there are many beautiful places that spoil the eyes. One of the wonders of the world that must be visited is Lake Kelimutu. For Indonesian citizens, seeing this lake may feel familiar. It is true, you often see pictures of the lake in Kelimutu on the money with a nominal value of RP 5.000, rupiah, which was published in 1992. So it's no wonder you are familiar with this lake in Kelimutu. Kelimutu Lake is located in Pemo Village, Kelimutu District, Endi Regency, precisely on the Flores Island of East Nusa Tenggara. The name of this lake comes from the word Kelly which means mountain and quality which means it boils. The magic that you will witness once you arrive at this tourist attraction, you will see three lakes with different colors. In addition, the natural scenery is very stunning and spoils the eye. For that, on this occasion I think we will explore again the beauty of what is in Lake Kelimutu, here are the following. Enchantment of the beauty of Lake Kelimutu It is certain that the charm of Lake Kelimutu can be seen from the three-colored lake whose color can change. In addition, there are also many myths that are believed by local people here. There is little information that the change in color of the three lakes is caused by the mineral composition of the lake. Not without a name, the lake with an area of approximately 1,051,000 square meters has names with their respective meanings as follows. Ijin Crater with Beautiful Blue Fire Located at the top of Ijin, Ijin Crater is an acidic crater lake with an altitude of up to 2,444 meters above sea level. The depth of the lake in Ijin Crater ranges between 200 meters with a whole area reaching 5,466 hectares. Ijin Crater Lake is also known as the largest acid water lake in the world. Ijin National Park located in the area of Bondawoso Regency and Banyuwangi Regency, East Java. Ijin Crater has a blue fire that can be found in the early hours of 2.00 to 5.00. The site of Blue Fire can only be found in two places in the world, Blue Fire only located in Ijin Crater and Dalil Volcano. Tourists can enjoy landscape Blue Fire in Ijin, 
along the track to top, we can watch the sulfur mining, the miners carrying sulfur chunks with trolley and took baskets. They can carry a load of 80 to 100 kg manually. The miners will take sulfur from the crater lip, bring to the top and move to be brought down to the shelter. To reach Ijin Crater, tourists can start tracking from Paltuting with approximately distance 3 km, Paltuting is rest point and entrance to Ijin Crater. There are a forest protection and conservation center of Perhutani. In this place you can get information about Ijin Crater, homestay facilities in Paltuting areas until save or not to entrance the Ijin Crater. In Paltuting provided camping ground for who want to set up a tent. How to go Ijin Crater? The journey can get through two line, from Bondawoso Regency and Banyuwangi Regency. But as a suggestion from us, you should better from Banyuwangi because it's a small access to Paltuting, Banyuwangi Regency has advantages from Bondawoso because tourists can reach Banyuwangi using the ferry from Bali, Banyuwangi has Blimingsari Airport and train station. The path that must be passed from Banyuwangi to Ijin is Banyuwangi, Lysen, Jambu, Paltuting, Ijin Crater Travel tips to Ijin Crater Bring a thick jacket and head cover because temperature on top of Ijin reaches 5 until 2 degrees Celsius. Make tracks to the top with a fit body condition and do enough preparation because you are hunting at night. Don't forget to bring a mask or nose cover because to get blue fire you will pass caldera, and mask use prevents sulfur smoke. Bring raincoats while climbing in the rainy season. To go Ijin Crater during rain season, it's recommended to use off-road vehicles especially type Jeep double axle because road condition from Jambu to Paltuting have massive road condition. Heading to Ijin Crater is a challenging and tiring journey. It is not easy to reach one of the best destinations in Indonesia. The walking route uphill for more than 3 kilometers we had to pass in about 3 hours. But once we got to the top, we really got something beautiful and rare. Its vast verdant crater lake is the largest in the world. Another unique phenomenon is the appearance of the blue fire. Ijin Crater Tourism Park is located on the border of Bondawoso and Banyuwangi Regencies in East Java. Its position is surrounded by three large mountains, namely Rong, Marantai, and Merapi. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.